Welcome to the Old Boar Plays City Skylines. This is a tutorial series for you to learn all about Railway 2 train networks. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to plop trains. Specifically, train trailers and I'll be plopping them in this switching yard. I've subscribed to two train car packs on the Steam Workshop. One is called the American Freight Train Generic Freight Car Pack. Those are the ones you see here. They're not only props, but they also roll behind train engines in your game. That's why I like that pack. I've also subscribed to the American Freight Train Intermodal Freight Car Pack. Those are container trains. I won't be putting those in this switching yard. I'm saving those for the Cargo Harbor later on in the series. If you'd like to find out how to put these on your trains, see a video I made on how to use random train trailers. You can also install a mod called Train Variation Loader, which will load the cars either full or empty depending on whether they have cargo. This train holds 10 cars and it's 80% full because some of the cars are empty. So the American Freight Train Generic Freight Car Pack comes with the empty car and the full car. In order to plop down trains and trailers, you're going to need two mods. One is called Prop and Tree Anarchy. And the other is called Prop Line Tool. Unless you want to lay down those train trailers individually one by one, you'll need Prop Line Tool. So I'm going to open Find It and I'm going to type AFT, which stands for American Freight Train. But all of these come up. These are the tanker cars. These are hoppers. And these are box cars. Let's start with some hoppers. You'll see that your prop line tool set pops up. You can put these down individually or you can put them in a line with straight. We'll select straight and we'll put down this hopper. Put your cursor in the center of those two rails and stretch it out. You can also use this to get a look at what those hoppers look like before you lay them down. If I select this one, it automatically changes and I can decide whether that's the trailer I want to put down. I like these, so I'm going to stretch a few of these. I'm going to left click once with my mouse, putting this cursor over the center of those two rails. I'm going to click this one and I can come down to see if I like it. You can stretch them out as far as you want. I'm going to stretch out four of these. You can see I'm putting this blue cursor right between those two rails.
And I might just want one of these. And I like this blue one. So I'm going to stretch out several of those. Now I'm going to right click with my right mouse button. I release the prop line tool with my right mouse button. You can see that the couplers are not lined up here. Here's where I can take move it. And I can actually take that one car, turn it slightly, and holding down Alt, I can move it in. I could also take this trailer with Move It and just use the Bulldoze tool to remove it. Switching yards exist so that switchers can come in and put together and take apart the trains preparing them for their next destination. If you'd like to know how to build that switching yard, you can see the previous video that I made on that. You could use Picker and pick this and plop this in with a single selection tool. I'm just going to get above this, line up those couplers, and plop it in. Those are the very basics of laying trains. You can also lay train engines. And in the rest of the video, I'm going to time lapse and fill in this switching yard.
Thank you for watching The Old Boar Plays City Skylines. Take care now.